But first, the Minister for Health, Michael Noonan, is this evening under renewed pressure over the hepatitis C scandal and his handling of the state's legal action against one of its victims, the late Mrs. Bridget McColl. Yesterday, Mrs. McColl's daughter said the state had pursued a harsh legal strategy against her mother as she lay dying in hospital. The Progressive Democrats' health spokesperson, Cathy Honan, has called on Mr. Noonan to publish details of the government's legal strategy, while Brian Cowan of Fianna Foyle accused the government of a cover-up. This evening, Mr. Noonan attacked Fianna Foyle for what he described as an attempt to turn the McCole family's tragedy into a vote-getting exercise. Michael Noonan, who's been engaged in a round of constituency duties in Limerick today, has this evening strongly defended his handling of the McCole case. Earlier today, Fianna Fáil accused the minister of a cover-up and the Progressive Democrats said his legal strategy was callous and heartless. The minister again reiterated that what happened to Bridget McCole was a great tragedy, but it shouldn't now be turned into a vote-getting election issue. Uh, I have enormous sympathy for the McCole family and I listened with great anguish to the interview uh, by uh, Mrs. McColl's daughter this morning. Uh, but I believe uh, that Fianna Fáil, on the run into a general election, are trying to use the great tragedy of Mrs. McColl uh, simply to win votes. And I think that's a despicable political strategy. As this latest political row intensified this evening, the minister said he was quite prepared to answer his critics in the Doyle. And he wanted to make it absolutely clear that he didn't organise or direct the legal strategy pursued by the blood transfusion service. Uh, I could do no other than follow legal advice. I couldn't admit liability when my legal advice was the state wasn't liable. If I had done that, I'd be hauled before the Public Accounts Committee of Dáil Éireann and asked why I was paying out the taxpayers' money against legal advice. But the main thrust of the legal case uh, was between Mrs McColl's uh, legal team and the legal team for the BTSB and uh, it was between those two parties that the settlement uh, was arrived at and part of that settlement was uh, that they would not proceed further against the state. The minister again extended his deepest sympathy to the McCole family and said he wanted to extend his heartfelt sorrow to them on their great personal tragedy. A row has broken